Hello and welcome to Fusion Fundamentals with me MJ. Today's video has us looking at this donut. It's not really the kind of thing that you do in Fusion. It's more like a blender kind of uh, animation sort of thing. But I wanted to see if I could do an emboss on a curved surface with a hole in it. And that's what led me to doing a donut. So follow along and see how you go. We'll start this off by creating a torus. So if I go click create over here, torus, we're able to select it. And I'm going to do mine on the top plane. And then we will select the origin. So I'll move that out, make it a hundred millimeters and just press enter. Then we need to just set this thickness. So if you make it too much, you'll end up with a sphere and make this about 60 and press enter. So there we've got our donut shape. What we need to do, or what you'll see that we end up doing is we have to close this hole up or else it won't let us do the emboss. So I'm gonna do it without the hole closed first and then we can just jump back in the timeline and fill the hole. So for the, the emboss section, we're gonna construct a new plane. So construct offset plane from our top plane there and it doesn't have to be any particular height so long as it's above our torus or donut shape. And okay, then we're gonna create a sketch on it. I'm gonna just select our spline tool over here and draw some curvy lines. Just imagine the icing of the donut dripping around and running over the edge of our donut and finish sketch. So now the idea is that this sort of drops down and wraps around there. What we're gonna do is create and emboss. But you'll see now when I try to do this, it's gonna tell us we can't because there's a hole in the region to be embossed. So let's cancel that. And I'm just gonna hop back here. We can do it before or after the new plane and create a new sketch on our top plane here. So we can see the top plane intersects the center of our torus. And I'm gonna go center diameter circle, make that just to the edge there so that it's gonna be a closed profile. And finish sketch. Now I'm gonna extrude this up by one millimeter and make sure it's a join operation. Okay. Now if we go here, you'll see we'll still end up with the same result um, even though it's a closed profile, it doesn't allow us to do it. But I figured out that if I put a, a little tiny little fillet over there, so let's make it two millimeters. Put this tiny little fillet and all of a sudden it's able to compute. So let's go ahead and then we'll go again back to emboss, select our profile and select this face. Now we can see it's dropped it around the edge there and that's what we want so i'm going to click ok and next we want to put some sprinkles on there so i'm going to create a sketch on our plane our offset plane up here and i'm going to use the slot tool so slot center to center slot and just randomly draw one um, i'll dimension this the center line here will be five millimeters and then the radius will make one. So I just push D to access the dimension tool. So we've got that one over there and that's gonna drop down, but I want a whole bunch. So let's go back into this and I'm just gonna select it, Control C and then Control V and we'll just change the orientation slightly. So I'm gonna put in a couple of them and then I'm just gonna use the pattern tool. So I don't want them all to be in the same direction. So now I will grab these three and we'll create a circular pattern. So I've selected our objects there and the center will be our origin. 
then you just add in as many as you want. Obviously, the more you add, the more variety there'll be. It looks like there's a problem with the one, so let's just go back here and select these again, make sure they're all selected. That looks a bit better. It was missing some parts of one. So I'm gonna stick with 10 and just press enter there. So there we've got our sprinkles floating above our donut. I'm gonna finish sketch. Um, then we'll go back to emboss. And I'm not sure if this will let me do it in one shot. I previously did this and it let me select all of them and just drop down one emboss. This one is not. So we're gonna do it in sections. So from the top view, looks like kind of these are on one side. Let's see if it lets me do that. Yep. So there we've got those embossed. I'm gonna make that drawing visible again, and we'll repeat that step until we've got them all embossed. So let's see what we can get there. No problem with that either. That's just these last little bits here. So once we got these last ones in, I think it also gave me some issues when I accidentally selected one twice. Couldn't emboss on the area that was already embossed. But these all of our little sprinkles. I'll turn that sketch off. And now we want to get rid of this hole in the center. So now I'm going to go back to our sketches and the first little sketch we drew, that circle, we're going to be extruding that. Um, let's just make it 10 millimeters. I'll make it symmetric, so it's definitely cutting through the whole thing. Then we've got our center of the donut. I'll turn sketches off. Now we want to add a bit of color here, so I'll push A for our appearances, and I've loaded these three. So all this is in enamel paint. And all I did was right click and duplicate to get a blank. And then you click on edit, right click edit. And then you can set your color to whatever it is you want. And then you've got your custom paint. So what I want now is I want to drop some of this over the whole thing. And we get our little sprinkles and we get the, the dough part. And then I'll just select the icing part and drop the paint on there. We close up and now we've got our donuts. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down in the comment section. If you can come up with a better way to do this, please do share. Um, this was a bit of a random one I just thought of. Anyway, until next time, bye.